everybody. Welcome back to the Wednesday night edition of Inside the Headset as we are going out to the community of Rockville. And we're going to talk to the head coach of the Rockville Rockets as he's rolling down the road. That's head coach Rick Rice. How you doing, right, coach? I'm, I'm good, Stark. How you doing? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Did Austin have a, a good uh, fall break? Uh, he did. He, he did. I spent the whole week with him and... Uh, Took him back and forth to therapy each day to Nashville and Hendersonville, and uh, probably had his best day, probably had his best week of therapy since uh, you know since uh, you know since the wreck a year ago. So uh, thank you for asking, Stork. I appreciate that. Well, he means a lot to us, and uh, we'll try to mention him Friday night on the broadcast as we head over to Stewart's Creek if he decides to okay. tune in. But. Uh, Coach, I uh, uh, had a tough game there before the break against Coffee County, and, yeah. and I didn't think. The Rockville Rockets were the Rockville Rockets, and what I mean is I don't think they were the same team I saw week one, and can you help me with that? Yeah, yeah, Stork. I mean, you know, especially from a defensive standpoint, they, you know, um, you know, third down got us again. They had a 70-yard touchdown pass, and then, and then we get the ball. We go three and out, and we punt. They block the punt and, and run it in, but from that point, well, from that point, um, um, on the big touchdown pass, until about a minute to go in the game, Stork, I mean, we, um, I think they punted it six, seven times. We sacked the quarterback seven times. They, I think they had maybe 60 yards of uh, total offense during that during that time span there, you know. Well, so we played really, really well defensively. Uh, you couldn't ask a better, better job from our kids from a defensive standpoint. Yeah, we just struggled. We went very physical in the offensive line, Stork, and that really, I don't know, it just really bothered me and it bothered Coach Erbley, Coach Guthrie, my two offensive coaches. So, uh, um, yeah, disappointing because uh, we felt like we could have got that one. But, yeah, we're, we're no doubt a lot better than we were, you know, week one, no doubt about that. Well, and I just, like you said it best, I just felt like, I mean, Nowacki just couldn't get anything going. The nah, he couldn't. I he mean, couldn't. He, he, he tried. Didn't play well and he tried. He, I, thought, I thought it was almost, and, and, and sometimes you get into this, Coach, you get a little bit behind, and so you realize you got to have some points, so what do you do? You force a little. Yeah. You force, and, and, you, and it's not that you're making bad decisions, but you're not making the best decision when you got that ball. Yeah, you're just trying to you're just trying to make something happen. What you're trying to do, Stork, and that's what Logan was trying to do. I mean, he ended up throwing two touchdown passes. We had one call back there early in the yep. game at Lyman downfield, and uh, that really hurt us. By mm-hmm. the way, that you know we're going to go up seven to nothing on the first drive of the game, and so uh, yeah, he you know he was just I, I think I think he tried to do too much, and with Logan, you don't you know you don't want him to try to go in and, and try to win the ball game, which you know. If it comes to that point, it'd be nice. But he's a really good manager of the game. I think Coach Everly does a really great job with him, you know, calling plays with him. So, uh, uh, but you know, we had our opportunities. We really did. We we, we didn't we didn't capitalize on them. And so, uh, you know, and we've had a really good week of practice. We we brought our kids on, in on Sunday, practice for two hours after the fall break. So we're ready to go. I know Blackman's one and six, but they're probably the best one and six team in the state of Tennessee. So, but we're ready. We're ready. We're ready to go. Yeah, and uh, what, do you, what do you think it takes to beat these guys? You like that quarterback, don't you, Drew Breen? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I like him. You yeah, know, Drew, I mean, Drew, I mean, he's a, just a fine, fine quarterback. Got a good arm. You know, he's a, you know, a, really, a great baseball player. So, uh, uh, you know, the running back, that kid can play. I mean, they're, they've got athletes to start. I mean, they, you know, they're just having some bad luck right now. And so, uh, that's. I, I, you know, they're just. I, I think they're a really good football team. Now they're one in six. People say you're crazy, coach. And I think they're a good football team. They just play some really, really good teams and ha- has had some bad luck. So uh, I just hope. I just hope we can compete with them Friday and you know, you know, put on a good showing for Rockville. Well, and you, you know, you say that too. I mean, let's look at what they played. They played Alcoa. They played Ravenwood. They played several. I mean, and then come through this guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then come over here and come through yeah. this, this region three six A gauntlet. I mean, come on, coach. It's it's not easy. Yeah. I mean, you, yeah, their their best ball game start this year's against uh, against Riverdale. I mean, Riverdale beats the twenty one to fourteen. But I'm gonna tell you why they they did some great things offensive defense against them. 
So, uh, um, you know, I, I actually thought they was going to get Coach Kreisky and them, but um, uh, Coach Kreisky and them came up on top. But, but that, that's that been their best ball game right now, and, that's you know, that's a big rival, and the, those kids, uh, you know, it was almost a pull out, you know, almost pulled out a win. So, uh, but anyway, it's, you know, it's going to be tough, but, you know, we're our kids are really looking forward to it. I know Blackman kids are too. Yeah, yeah. Well, Coach, we wish you the best of luck Friday night. You're going over to the Blaze. This is the first time you've ever been over to the to the to the Inferno, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's a nice place, uh, Coach Hartsfield and them got man. That that turf and just the facilities is just really just really nice. And we're gonna have a a wonderful night for football starts. It's supposed to be 57, I think, the high that day, and so it's gonna might dip into the. High 30s or uh, low 40s Friday, so I'm all about that. I tell you what, uh, you and Judy, the beauty both, she's ready for some cool weather. There's a lot of them. I'm not, but we'll do the best we can. Coach, be careful. <laughs> stay be careful. Stay healthy Friday night, and we wish you the best. All right, Stuart. Thank you for calling, man. Good talking to you. All right. See you, Coach.